Welcome everyone to our YouTube series, uh, Test Prep Made Easy. Uh, so in this particular series, we are going to post regularly uh, questions on our YouTube channel. The questions will pertain to CAD preparation, maybe pertaining to GMAT preparation, as well as of various topics which are tested in these particular exams. Uh, for example, quants, LRDI, English, and various areas which are tested. And uh, each day, we will handle certain number of questions and their video solutions. The best approach is to these questions uh, in these videos. So have a happy preparation ahead and uh, enjoy the video. Thank you. Okay, so this is the LR set that we are going to discuss in this video. Hopefully you have already tried it from the thumbnail itself. Uh, if you haven't, you can uh, pause the video at this point. Uh, we recommend you to try it once before you watch the solution. And if you just want to enjoy the solution, you're welcome to do, uh, do the same thing. Um, just go ahead and watch the solution, which will be starting now. All right, so in this uh, LR set, so we have uh, uh, there a group of six students out here. The names have been provided. And they're deciding to study together in one of their rooms. So it's it's about them studying in one of the rooms. So one of their rooms, by the way. Uh, so they are studying in one of these six people uh, room. Uh, here is a complete account of the movement between 11 p.m. and 5.30 a.m. And if you quickly glance through the given information, traditional ones. Uh, so it's about entering the room and exiting the room and so on. So. Um, in this kind of set, uh, what I would like to do is I would like to build up a table. So I would like to build up a table in terms of time and, uh, you know, people in the room or something. So uh, whoever are in the room. So this is a rough structure that uh, I'm going to develop. And on the basis of uh, the different time period that is available to me. So, for example, I have uh, 11 p.m. here. Then uh, in the next point, five, uh, whoever does the, join them within five minutes. Uh, so something around 11 or 5 p.m. Uh, Chetan went to his room to have a nap break, 1.45. So I, this, is, this is what I would like to develop, uh, you know, as a table. And uh, I would just uh, take into account whichever people are there in the room at that particular time. So every movement can be accounted for. So let me develop this table uh, I, uh, and then we'll carry on with the discussion about this. All right, so uh, this is the table that I've developed as I was talking about. Uh, so I'm just going to take notes of whatever I can figure out. Now, the first point tells us that uh, there were three students uh, who started studying at 11 p.m. in one of their rooms. Now, we don't know which three students are there. So I just uh, put three dashes uh, to later on understand that there will be three people. Uh, next, it says uh, Rahul, who overheard the discussion, joined them within five minutes. So 11 of five, uh, Rahul joins uh, these three people. So let me write Rahul. And then I'll just continue these three blanks because uh, as of now, I don't know who these three people are. The next point tells us that Chetan went to his room uh, to have a nap break at 1.45 a.m. So Chetan is leaving the room. So if Chetan is leaving the room, then... Uh, Chetan must be uh, one of these three individuals, right? So uh, supposed to be in the room before he leaves, right? So Chetan has to be one of the individuals. So let me quickly write this down. So I'm just writing this in short. Later on, I'll, I'll write this properly. So Chetan is, uh, you know, leaving the room. Uh, let me not put a full stop as well. So just let me write CH for Chetan or something. Uh, but he leaves at 145, by the way. So Rahul is remaining at this point and these two people uh, remain. So I don't know who these two people are, but Chetan has left. So at 145, these three individuals remain. Rahul, we know, the other two, we don't know. Great. Uh, now it says, Vinay met Chetan on the stairs while going to study with the group. So this is what I've done. So uh, when I'm recording this, I don't know the exact time when uh, Vinay has joined them. Uh, to study. So Vinay is meeting Chetan on the stairs while, uh, on the stairs while going to study with the group. So uh, it's like, I mean, somewhere around 146 or maybe 145 itself. We don't know how much time it took Vinay to uh, reach the room after meeting Chetan. 
but yes i mean uh, when i met chetan on the stage while going to study to the groups obviously when i should be joining just after chetan left so just because of that uh, just to understand the you know sequencing of uh, information out here so i've just written this as up roughly 146 so now vinay is joining these people so let me add vinay to this group so vinay uh, rahul and these two individuals remain I, uh, still i don't know which are these two people so let me leave that okay uh, next point suraj went out at 215 am to have a cold drink okay great so if suraj is going out again similar logic to chetan right if suraj is going out at 215 am to have a cold drink so suraj should be before uh, you know um, earlier in the room right so uh, one of these other blank uh, we have now figured out so i'm just writing this as suraj because uh, if you notice the names uh, there are couple of s i mean couple of names starting with s but the other one is srinu so we can write sr for that if required so uh, i'm just going to write su for suraj and this person is leaving at 215 am right uh, so vinay remains in the room uh, rahul remains in the room and uh, this third person again still now we don't know who that third person is so remains there right now so yeah so we have completed till here suraj went out at 215 am uh, just look, notice the timing it will be easy to identify uh, kumar went out at 230 am to fetch chetan okay so again kumar going out of the room so obviously the third person third blank out here has to be kumar right so i'm just going to write k for that so there is only one name that starts with uh k you can just quickly check the names out here so i'm just going to write a k for that later on we can easily identify who that person is so kumar is going out at 230 am to fetch chetan so uh, at 230 am only vinay and uh, rahul remain in the room right great now 235 next point uh, suraj woke up srinu and brought him and um, brought him along at 235 am so now suraj and srinu comes back so suraj left the room right so suraj left the room earlier but now he is coming back with srinu so suraj and srinu both come back or or come to the room at 235 am so vinay and rahul are still there vinay and sorry vinay and rahul are still there suraj comes back and uh, Srinu, I mean, he brings along Srinu with him, right? So this is uh, Srinu or something. So let me write this completely. So that is Srinu, right? So Suraj and Srinu is here. Great. So two thirty-five, this happens. Uh, so next point. So we have done till here. The next point says Srinu did not find the owner of the room. He left immediately. So Srinu is leaving immediately. So again, that I don't know the exact time. So I've just taken an approximate one. So two thirty-six or something. uh so srinu is leaving immediately but at this point i would also like to uh get your attention back to something important uh that is uh, uh srinu did not find the owner of the room so uh srinu did not find uh, the owner of the room so if srinu doesn't find the owner of the room uh remember that they are studying at somebody somebody's room right so whose room can it be think about the first three students that were there at 11 uh, pm so these three people chetan suraj and uh, kumar so out of these three it has to be one of them has to be uh, the person who is uh, you know the owner of the room right uh, definitely cannot be uh, suraj because uh, suraj came with srinu so suraj cannot be the owner of the room so let me uh, just try to figure out who the owner is so it has to be one of these three so suraj cannot be because uh, suraj and srinu came together so had srinu found uh, i mean uh, 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 found suraj so he would not have left right so that is what this point says did not find the owner of the room so suraj is definitely uh, not the owner now chetan and kumar are both uh, absent at 235 when uh, srinu has come in right so there is only vinay and rahul in the room and srinu obviously came with suraj so uh, chetan and kumar both are absent but if you just go back to an earlier point uh, point number 3 that is this one uh, chetan went to his room so this was telling us that chetan goes to a room i mean goes to his room implies that this room where they are studying 
is not chetan's room so uh, the owner cannot be chetan as well so the owner has to be kumar so that is also something we can figure out from this particular point uh, where shrinu did not find the owner of the room he left immediately so interesting way to put this but yeah uh, we can figure this out uh, from this particular point uh, let's carry on we just have two points left uh, i don't think the last one is a point at all so only one point left kumar and chetan went to the library at 2:45 am um okay so kumar and chetan are not at all uh, in the room uh, as of now so i'm not concerned about with this 245 am but they returned at 430 am so that is why i have taken 430 am uh, as one of the rows so kumar and chetan comes back right so when kumar and chetan comes back uh, vinay rahul suraj so this su is suraj uh kumar and chetan so these are the five people who are remaining at 430 am and the group finally dispersed at 530 am which implies that uh, from 430 to 530 these five individuals uh, remain in the room so uh this is the entire set uh, i'll just correct uh, i'll just write this properly and then we'll carry on with the questions so let me do that all right so i just i just con uh, converted this to a proper table so this is the same information let's get into the questions now so first question asks what is the highest number of students in the study room at a given time between this time period so uh, please uh, also keep in mind that uh, this uh, this entire movement uh, i mean all all the different timing whenever there's a difference in the uh, personnel inside the room we have taken into account right so just look for the uh, highest number of people at any point of uh, time in this in, in this entire table so just just go row wise uh, so if you go quickly you will find that this this time period so there are there are five people in the room right so from 430 to 530 there are actually five people who are studying in the room so the answer for this question would be c pretty straight forward question let's uh, go into the next one in whose room were the group of six students studying so uh, this is the owner of the room which we earlier took a note of so kumar is the owner of the room so again answer is option c let's move to the next question okay so who was in the room for the longest duration uh, between 11 pm and 5:30 am so i don't want to check all the all com compare all the six people uh, there is obviously an option like cannot be determined but i'll i'll worry about it later on first let me look at the first three options so we have kumar rahul and kumar sorry suraj rahul and kumar in consideration uh, so let us look at these three people first of all so uh, one thing i noticed straight away is rahul after entering at this point uh, you know always he remained in the room he never left right i mean you can check in every row uh rahul is always there and this is not till 430 by the way this is still 530 because if you remember the last uh, last point i mean don't 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 consider this one as the last point uh this one was the last point so kumar and chetan uh, went to the library and returned at 430 am and after that till 530 i mean these five people have stayed in the room as well so uh rahul never left the room right so he came at 11 or 5 and never left the room he remained till 530 am so uh out of the remaining two people so even if you compare anybody else uh, everyone has left the room for some period of time right for example if you consider uh, the the three people who started uh, you know studying at the beginning uh, suraj left at this point uh, this is the point where uh, you know suraj is missing and uh, came back at this point right so from 215 to 235 he is absent for 20 minutes right uh he is not there in the room for 20 minutes so suraj is not there for 20 minutes uh even if you consider something like chetan so chetan uh, chetan is not in the options among abc but anyhow let me just show this so chetan left at this point at 145 and comes back uh, comes back very late right i mean comes back at 430 so he was out of the room for a huge amount of time almost 3 uh, hours uh kumar as well i mean kumar is one of the options so kumar uh stays till here leaves at this point so 2:30 am he leaves and then comes back at 4:30 am right i mean kumar is missing here so kumar has been absent in the room for 2 hours so i mean the closest uh person uh, would be uh, this chetan person uh i mean compared to uh, rahul that is uh, because chetan was missing for uh, only uh, when was so not chetan sorry sorry my bad suraj yeah suraj uh, so suraj will be the closest person 
who leaves at 2:15 suraj is absent here present till here and then uh, comes back at 2:35 suraj so closest is suraj but rahul was not there in the room just for 5 minutes and even less than 5 minutes if you remember the second point correctly rahul who overheard the discussion joined them within 5 minutes so it's not uh, i mean it's not exactly 5 minutes as well so rahul has been absent in the room for the smallest amount of time so obviously he should be present in the room for the longest duration right so the rahul uh, rahul should be the answer here option b uh, cannot be determined is incorrect because we can actually determine this we can easily compare with everybody else and check that rahul is the person who stayed for the longest duration so that's it for this question let's look into the next one all right so here we are looking for uh, how many students did vinay meet between uh, this time period so we are concerned about when uh, who vinay have met right so let us look at the places where vinay is there so vinay is there for this entire block right uh, so let's let's just look at uh, which people vinay have met and uh, you know then we can easily figure it out so rahul is definitely uh, i mean rahul he has met suraj he has met kumar he has met uh, this is repetition so don't worry about that uh, srinu also he has met at this point and finally at this point chetan is also met by vinay so uh, every other person has been met by vinay if you remember there are six students uh, uh, so vinay can meet five people only so uh, he has actually met all the five people so answer to this question would be option c so pretty straightforward said this was the last question by the way um, there's nothing too much to it you just have to form this grid and uh, or table and then just just uh, answer the questions hardly it should take you 6 to 8 minutes to solve this set i mean maybe even less than that uh 5 to 6 minutes would be an ideal time to solve this set so i hope everything was understood uh for the set and i hope uh, most of you have got the answers uh while you were solving it and thanks for joining in uh have a good preparation ahead hopefully you liked uh, the solutions we provided for these questions and uh, if you did like it do not forget to like the video and share subscribe and comment do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon uh, in that case you will get notification as soon as we upload a new video and if you want to check a bouquet of courses that we provide so we have a huge variant of courses uh, from customizability to full preparation you can check our website www.mathretry.com i'll leave the uh, link in the description below and uh, have a enjoyable preparation ahead welcome to the maturity family and have a good exam ahead